Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live Tech Edition. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, everybody. And this evening's very special. Uh, actual real live in person even through the snow guest <laughs> is craig schwartz of toonlit hello internet how are you of toonlit toonlit ww oh i don't think you need the w's toonlit.com yeah we've been having a debate whether you need the w's or the http and uh i think i think we're leaning towards neither i think yeah. if i just type toonlit.com magically <laughs> it will work it goes to toonlit <laughs> And enough people have gotten there. How you guys hit a few months ago? I remember reading you guys hit a very large magic number on Tunelit. It wasn't. Uh, I mean, in terms of um, uh, like registered users or, mm -hmm. or viewers, uh, yeah, I think we. I mean, it's not. You know, and when when you when you look at you know the Facebooks and the Googles of the world, uh, the numbers are 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 vanishingly small. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, yeah, we just, I think we just passed uh, 14,000 uh, uh, registered users. And that's just, that's users. That's not even people who are looking at it. It's people yeah, that are so actually making cartoons. Yeah, it's actually people that have taken the trouble to, to sign up for the site. And most of them, uh, if not all of them, have, have gone and at least made one or two cartoons. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, it was a pretty important milestone. We're, we're, we're gunning for that 15,000. Uh, so hopefully we'll uh, I don't know if we'll get to twenty, but but we should uh, we should get pretty close before we we hit that year, yeah. that year mark. So for those of you that don't know what Tunelit is, okay, <laughs> help us out. So Tunelit is a is a website that um, has a number of web comic blogging tools on it. So um, it basically what we're trying to do is just make it easy for anybody, um, sort of regardless of their artistic ability, to go ahead and create their own web comic. And our goal, at least initially, was to let them do this very, very quickly um, with characters that they've kind of made themselves. So uh, uh, I, we, we, we both succeeded in that regard and, and also uh, uh, the quickly part, at least. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we get people who come to the site and they'll make, you know, a dozen comics or, or more. We've had one guy who made, I think, 80 comics in a day, wow. um, which is like making a whole comic book in a day. Mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, 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 you know, it's it, it's also uh, when you actually sit down and you don't necessarily know precisely in detail what you want to write, or you need to go and create the uh, the characters and all the different moves that they're going to be wearing. Mm -hmm. um, it can it can actually uh, take you know forty five minutes to an hour sometimes to create like a really like a big full page of a comic, mm -hmm. which in traditional comic book terms is really really short. Um, but when you're actually sitting and making it, you know, you're at your job or whatever, and it's something that you kind of wanted to slot into a five minute mm -hmm. coffee break kind of thing, um, an hour is no good. Yeah. So it's, it's sort of, uh, you know, both of those, we can accommodate those people who can make comic in two minutes. Um, and we can, we can, you know, we get people who, you know, you can definitely tell have spent a tremendous amount of time agonizing over each and every panel. I, when I first set up my tune, then I spent a lot of time making characters and then moods and there's like uh, it's embarrassing there's like 30 cami chaos moods <laughs> yeah and and maybe 10 dr normal that's and, not embarrassing that's and, great that's okay. precisely what we want and my dad and my mom and <laughs> my brother and i have all these and little you made things. one tonight i did i made one tonight because i haven't made one in a while because i've been busy and then i was like god i miss too lit <laughs> and i went and i made my little cartoon and i was very happy yeah and Kay was standing over my shoulder put me in it put me in it and i'm like you're in it at the end stop she was like no i need to make one she wants her own <laughs> tune lit account now and had to explain to her it's easy you use mommy's cartoons the face is already made but well eventually we'll turn on <laughs> character sharing so you'll just be able to funnel all of your characters over to her account and she can just go crazy so i have a question for you mm -hmm. and it's my dad's question oh uh, okay you know my dad's a great he, lover of tune lit do we know if he's i uh, don't know if he's if on he's right. listening? Is, do you know if my dad's listening mike oh, excuse me dr normal <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll i'll ask in the chat room here okay i know he could be sleeping but he wanted me to ask you and other people have asked as well Will it, there ever come a time that you can put more than one character in the same box? Oh, God, yes. Oh, we get asked that so much. I mean, I bet you do. <laughs> every, everybody wants that, and probably nobody more than myself and mm -hmm. Seth, um, the, the, the founders of the site. So, 
Um, yes, it's it's in the works. In fact, we're working towards it now. Um, it's going to be a little while. If I had to peg a time, I would probably say late winter or early spring even. Um, but it's definitely happening. Excellent. Um, we're sort of gearing up and doing some of the initial things that, uh, that require that because it's really sort of going to require... Um, a major overhaul of the of the strip building tool. Mm -hmm. um, so we're working on that. Uh, simultaneously, we're working towards incorporating backgrounds. So when we when we update this new tool, I don't know if we'll get both at the same time, but uh, eventually it'll be you know multiple characters in a in a in a panel. Mm -hmm. um, you should have the ability to sort of uh, resize panels uh, if if everything goes according to plan. Oh, so, can, so instead of having just the four little ones across, you could stretch one and. Yeah, nice. I mean, as it is now, you can you can just omit panels, so you can Correct. have you know three panels or That's, two panels. And... Anytime someone asks me how to fit it onto their blog, I'm always just just skip panels. Yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been that's been something of an issue too. We uh, uh, we could have been a little smarter initially in in figuring out the proportions of the blog, mm -hmm. and even with the the the, uh, the two panel strips that most people like to use on their blogs, where it's it's two panels uh, across and then however many panels they need down. Um, it's still a little bit too wide. Um, and so we need to address that and find ways to make it easier for people to embed it on their blogs. Um, cause we see, I think probably close to, I think it's close to 50% of our traffic actually comes from outside the site. People mm -hmm. seeing two in the comics that live on other people's sites. Um, but it could, uh, you know, we think that that'll, that number will grow as we make it better. More <laughs> to accessible. Put it on there. Yeah. yeah. So I have another Verso told me to ask about the Toonlet Holiday Greeting. <laughs> so the the uh, the Toonlet Holiday Greeting, I'll I'll give everybody the uh, the URL now um, and and apologize <laughs> for what you're about to see. Um, we've had some kind comments about it. Um, Verso seemed to like it. I think she called it the best uh, cart ever. Uh, Law Duck, uh, uh, both of these uh, Twitter folk. Um, also seemed to, to like it. I think he said it was full of win. And then my friend, uh, uh, Captain Cursor, also tuned it. Um, his response was, in all caps, Oh God, my eyes. <laughs> so, fair warning, but uh, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you think you're up to the task, I would say go to uh, tunelet.com slash static slash holiday card 08, uh, all lowercase, all one word, and uh, be prepared, be prepared to uh, not entirely love what you see. Dr. Normal, will you put that up on that screen behind you? What is that? <laughs> I need you to go to the to the URL he just quoted. Yeah. What's the URL? <laughs> it is tunelet.com slash static slash holiday card 08. Static slash holiday card 08. Okay, let me get to work on that while we're talking here. <laughs> you do that. Or I can go get my laptop. No, 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 I know no, how much fine. you love that's it. Fine. That's fine. I have fine. to see so that I can scream something inappropriate. And I should also, I should point out, because we were talking about this before the show, the holiday card is not actually truly a holiday card. Uh, what it is is a is a calendar page that we did for uh, a calendar that we are both part of. Yes, it's all three of us. All three. Dr. Normal, although Dr. Normal will remain clothed. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just we 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 asked if we could sort of uh, uh, show that around, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, we've we've been taking steps to do that. Yay! Yeah. So yeah, it's for the uh, imp what's the name of the calendar? We went through this last week too. Shout for a change? Is that? Yeah, something. I should I really learn. <laughs> these things. I think it's shout for a change. Shout for a change dot com. Yeah. Um, and it is uh, Robin Coleman and and uh, who I believe is Coleman Girl mm -hmm. on Twitter and Wonder Windy and Wonder Windy yes yeah and if you want to see a bunch of Portland geeks in the semi nude or implied nude <laughs> implied nude and for people who are watching and and thinking why would this man give out a URL where he's going to appear <laughs> on clothes it's a drawing it's a drawing yeah. it's a tunelet I was not it's not quite a tunelet because. Uh -huh. uh, I only took uh, my face, the face of the character that I use, and the face of Seth's character, and then I had to draw some custom stuff. But uh, oh, it's sexy! And 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 back to Tunelit again. What was that holiday card URL? <laughs> static. Tu yeah, Tunelit.com slash static slash holiday card 08. Okay, all one word. <laughs> I think I got case. it. Yeah, pull it up for I, me, I babe. May need to, uh, Welcome to a new streaming service. <laughs> I have grown new hands. Can you actually 
show that on the it's in up the there. feed? It's up there right now. Can in you the feed? can you wow. show it to me so I can see no. it on air? So um, you, you were on the cover my... of the Oregon Business Journal a while back. We were, we were. Um, thanks to uh, to Abraham Hyatt and uh, Michael Hall, uh, who who took the uh, the photos. Um, so that was that was kind of cool. Um, so it was kind of neat to see yourself on the cover of a magazine. Um, did you get like a billion copies and send it to everyone you I, know? I did. More importantly, did you get a billion dollars out of that? <laughs> uh, no, but uh, but it helped. It's it, it's always it's always fun to see yourself on the cover of a magazine. So how is how are things going with Toonlit being a startup, and you know the new economy? Um, good, good question. I mean, you know, we've got bank bailouts, we've got automaker bailouts. I'm thinking maybe web startup bailouts are next, you know, a few billion from Congress. Well, no? Uh, what is it? Facebook lost 97%, not 87% of its value? Yeah, from wow. From 15 billion to 2 billion. It's, yeah. uh, it's kind of tough out there. And um, uh, we're not escaping that. I don't think anybody's escaping mm-hmm. it. Um, we, were, we were, I guess, lucky um, in that when Seth and I actually started the company, uh, we kind of... We kind of kept our realizations, I guess, maybe a little tempered, and uh, I'm not going to say realistic because you know when you're talking about a web startup, you know everybody gets dollar signs in their heads. Yeah. But uh, um, we were just really kind of hoping that we would be able to to spin it up to the point where we'd be able to make some money, um, and then maybe spin it up to a point where we'd be able to hire some people so that we wouldn't have to do everything ourselves. Um, and I should really, I should really say, Seth is doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> he's coding every piece, every line on the site, um, and he's at home tonight with the, with the new one. With right? the new the one, yeah. that's right. Hey, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> one of these days, we'll we'll get get everybody on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's you can see him yeah. uh, in in cartoon form right now, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Are you looking? With Are you his... not going to show it to me? Uh, later, we'll do that in after hours. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been, it's definitely been, our expectations have changed. You know, there was, um, over the summer, um, you know, particularly when we were, when we were on the cover, we, you know, we were really out there trying to, to, uh, get funding. Um, and we've just pulled away from that entirely. It just doesn't seem like it's, it's really, uh, realistic and it seems like it could potentially be dangerous. You're, you're finding a lot of, a lot of these early stage companies, uh, you know, get one or two million dollars in funding, and you know they, uh, it, it, you know they get halfway through their funding cycle, and find out that the limited partners of the VC firm, you know, aren't going to fork over the rest of the money that was owed, yeah. and, or the you know the VCs decide that they want to reallocate funds, and so you know the venture just kind of disintegrates or vaporizes, um, and that's not really a consideration for us right now because we hold the hold the cards, I guess. Yeah. Um, and fortunately, um, uh, Toonlet is, is very, very reasonable to, to keep going. I think we can do it for about a hundred dollars a month, uh, excluding, uh, you know, art costs and, and things like that. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, you know, if it, if it, if we need to do it, uh, kind of as cheap as possible and, and, and maybe, uh, go get some, go get some other jobs to kind of help tide us over. That's, that's what we'll have to do. But, um, we're definitely committed to keeping it going. You know, we, 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 I think we really honestly feel that if we can, you know, kind of get through the other side of this uh, economic crisis and just, just sort of maintain even, uh, you know, try and grow the site where it's applicable, um, you know, we'll be much better, better positioned uh, when everything, when everything sort of clears up. So uh, again, so really it's just remaining you and you and Seth just working yeah, it through. There's, yeah. um, there are a couple of other people that are, I guess, uh, sort of affiliated. Mm-hmm. So we have, uh, a, a friend of mine, Ian, who is uh, tater print on the site and, uh, he's been helping us out, um, with, uh, community management and, uh, just sort of policing the site. Uh, he actually helps curate, uh, a few nights a week. Um, and, uh, and then there, we have, uh, you know, people that we've been, uh, sort of working with, um, uh, in terms of, of art regularly. And, um, uh, one of them, uh, Surly Ben, Ben Bittner, uh, has also been instrumental in, in really sort of, um, helping us determine, you know, uh, determine our, our production process for getting the, the art from, from paper onto the site and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's, there's, uh, you know, a couple of, of, of other people involved as well, but, um, uh, the, the principals right now are just me and Seth. So earlier you said something curating, what, 
what does that entail? <laughs> um, curating is one of those things where uh, if we if we were a better uh, better Web 2.0 site right now, uh, we we probably wouldn't need to curate. Um, I shouldn't say better because we we're awesome. You're amazing. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, so really. Being a Web 2.0 site, the goal would be to have the community uh, just go ahead and, and vote vote up the comics that they like the best, and those oh, would appear on the see. site the next day. Um, but we haven't built that one, and uh, we have uh, such a, a large international base of users that uh, you know almost almost half of our comics I think are in a language other than uh, than English. Mm -hmm. That it presents a problem in terms of you know because some of them uh, are probably very good. I don't, I don't know what they say for the most part, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, it would be sort of, I think, a, a strange user experience to hit the front door of the site and see something in, in Spanish or Italian or French. Yeah. Um, so we've been going through and just sort of calling the, uh, you know, going through every, every strip that was posted the day before and choosing between five to ten or so, um, posting them on the site the next day. And it's just for people who haven't been to the site, it's just uh, you go to the site and you get a, um, a comic. It's just uh, something that somebody strips. made. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you can just kind of page back. There's a, a left and right arrows uh, on either side of the strip, and just kind of click back and keep reading until you've you've had your fill or you've uh, hit where you were the the last time you read. Doctor Normal, have you ever made a tune lit? I have not yet, and I'm holding out for what the chat room has asked asked a a new uh, bacon geek uh, art pack. <laughs> was requested they need to get a bacon geek yeah. get the chat room to volunteer a bacon geek because last i checked there was a thing that you could download to make your own art pack this is true this is true so it's uh it's it the ball is in everybody's court to create a bacon geek be responsible bacon lovers yes we will put it on the we we'll put your art pack on the site is that i remember last time we talked the link was kind of down there on the page so it's in the footer of our site so yeah. any any page on the site down at the very bottom it'll say uh make an art pack and uh it's just a link there's some terms of agreement basically the terms are uh you own your work we license it from you um i think in perpetuity but it's it's effectively yours mm -hmm. um and uh and then it's basically just little printouts um made for computer paper you can print them out and you just kind of draw on them and it's just if you go to the site, you'll see that uh, characters are actually built up from, from layered parts. Uh, so I think right now we have a total of, of 17 parts that, that make up a, a character. You can use as many or as little as you want. And um, uh, so, uh, you know, the, the, the shapes for individual parts are pretty easy to, to actually draw. So, you know, the, the shape of a head is just something like that. And the nose may be something like that. And this could be a mouth, two dots for eyes. And, uh, you know, so... so Actually, making these is is pretty straightforward, and um, we've actually seen uh, a number of uh, of very young people uh, sort of get get into it. I know that um, uh, Raven Zachary's uh, son Aiden, who is uh, Aiden Eight on Twitter, uh, made I think our, our very first um, uh, uh, external art pack, and it's uh, it's ninjas, which is which is awesome. Like we've had a pack. we've had a couple of uh, of user built ones added to the site since. And to make an art pack, you don't actually have to do every all 17 categories. You can no. just choose the ones that you want to fill. Yeah, we've been putting up very small um, art packs. So like a, a, a normal full art pack probably takes um, uh, 20 or so hours. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, like most people don't really want to put in that amount of time and who can blame them. So, uh, you know, I think, you know, if you if you get some of the, the basic layers, I think the, you know, the... Uh, a few torsos, the shape of the head, mouth, nose, eyes, uh, maybe some hairstyles. Uh, that's probably as much as, as you really need uh, from the basics. And it's kind of fun, too, because sometimes, you know, depending on how you go about building your, your art assets, and we have a couple different methods that are available, uh, but the one that I like to use, you don't actually kind of have any set characters or any set goals in mind, so you just sort of start doodling these little squiggles, and then you put them in the tool, and eventually, you're like, oh, well, that's what the art that looks from like this. this. Yeah, <laughs> I had no idea. So it's kind, of, it's kind of a little mystery game. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you talked about essentially um, getting through this, um, this uh, kind of bad economic time. downturn. Yeah, the economic is that what it's called? 
<laughs> I'm trying not to use any alarmist words. Or any, uh, yeah, I was going to say global economic meltdown, but maybe that's just from where I'm sitting. I was, Cash catastrophe. I was just <laughs> waiting for you to mention the president. But anyway, um, um, is there anything um, in the work? So I'm interested because a while back I saw a lot of tweets from you from L.A., and uh <laughs> and you seem to be meeting with people yeah um i've been i've been i think i've been alluding to that for far too many months it's 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 i think I, mean, I know it's grating on my nerves it's probably grating on everybody's nerves and it's it's unfortunately the kind of thing that's still in flux um we're still talking to this people i i may have made mention of them on twitter i'm not i can't recall specifically secret, Dr. Um, i think no i think you mentioned who you were meeting with like it was um uh, one of the agencies down there. Oh yeah, the, so that the, that I can that I yeah. can I, I, I can oh, talk that's about a that. Different we've, secret. <laughs> we've that's actually not really a secret. So we've we've signed with because we put all our secrets on Twitter, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. One hundred and forty characters. <laughs> um, yeah, that one uh, is actually so we signed uh, in order to facilitate the deal that we're working towards. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we signed with uh, the Endeavor Talent Agency out of L.A. Uh -huh. which um, is, uh, you know, it, it, whether or not it bears any fruit remains to be seen. We're ever hopeful. Um, and it's it's kind of, it's just sort of a fun, weird thing that happened in the midst of all this. Um, uh, because they're, uh, I don't know if people watch uh, the, the HBO show Entourage, um, but that is sort of, it details with a, you know, Hollywood celebrity and his dealings with his his agent as manager and the coterie of people that kind of follow him around and uh the the agent in that show ari gold played by jeremy piven who is suffering from uh, mercury poisoning right now due to too much sushi um is based on the the head of this talent agency that represents us his name is ari emmanuel and he is the brother of ram emmanuel who is uh in the, the oh family. really <laughs> yeah oh how interesting <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. You may have to come back with all sorts of news. You know, I, we live in such a I tiny little no, world. I wish I had news. I yeah. really, really wish I did. I was supposed to. He was supposed to be in that meeting that I was in LA for, and uh, he, he. I guess he. he you had know, something else to do. When we when matters, we see the next to. president, you know, and his laptop is open and he's making a tune lit. You know, <laughs> yeah. here I am in the White <laughs> House, and here's the. You know, it's like we'll know. We'll know. He could yeah. actually go to my dad's when they do the character sharing and get a pretty good likeness of himself. A political yeah. and yeah. political. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy Chaos has made lots could of be great. Lots of political, political strips. Online. Um, you know, online comic advisor to the president, to the White House. We definitely, we do want to get it in front exactly. of the Secretary of Education because we, we have had a lot of a lot of teachers kind of that have really taken to the tool. Great educational tool. It would, I, you know, I doubt that we'll ever get the opportunity to even get it in front of you know the 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 assistant to the. Well, are you still having? Still, that would be. Yeah, no, be that would be awesome. awesome. That would be great. You know, I mean, back to when I was in school and. Anything creative they could put in front of me to motivate me was always helpful. And are you still it's getting pain in the ass? Are you still getting people up on Toonlit? You were getting some heavy conversations via Toonlit. Yeah, it's um, you know like philosophical conversations yeah. and stuff all expressed through um, online uh, strips. Yeah, that that particularly I think the time when when you guys interviewed me last, um, there was some really you know deep stuff kind of going on the site all in all in cartoon form, which was kind of cool. Um, I don't know that if it's it's quite as uh, that was sort of a weird period I guess where everybody's still sort of feeling their way around the site and kind of figuring out how they were going to interact with it. Um, I I think more people have started to gravitate towards creating their their own comics uh, more so than than responding to to other people's comics. Um, so now it seems like the responses that we see tend to be sort of, you know, congratulatory and great comic and things like so, that. So, let, yeah. so since then, less responses and more just posting Original comics. More, comics. Yeah. And, uh, but Interesting. you still do see some, po some uh, you know, there's still a good number of responses. Mm -hmm. um, I think we get about, uh, it's about a one to five ratio. So about for, uh, there'll be one response for every But it's, five it's gone down. Poster, so. Is originally, um, it has, it has, and the, and I think part of it is because, uh, you know, the, it, part of it I think is our fault, and that we don't really, 
uh, notify the users when when people respond. So it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to actually uh, enter into a conversation or keep it keep it going. Because you'd um, have to actually go and check yourself. Yeah. Thing. So that's something that we that we need to address, and it's something that's that's relatively straightforward to address too. Well, we just need to do it. I just wonder because we we just had this conversation tonight about commenting on just on blogs, just on regular blogs. And, and like I get some sense and based on some comments I've seen is that commenting on blogs has, has gone down a bit. And, um, you know, I know that it's like, if I want to comment on something, I'll read it and then I'll go to Twitter. Right. You know, cause yeah. that's, that there's your comment system right yeah. there. And so I wonder if just commenting in general has, kind of gone down a little bit yeah I mean, uh, probably that you know i yeah. think it was probably a small subset of all users were actually participated in the in the comments to begin with so you know yeah. by default you're sort of looking at a smaller group um but yeah it does seem like there's just so many more opportunities to you know for sites like twitter to sort of become the right. de facto place for actual conversations they seem much better geared to doing that with a large audience mm -hmm. so what are your favorite well without getting in trouble what, what are your, some of your favorite things you've seen on toonlet oh gosh we get I mean, we have some great uh uh you know great great people who come and make make strips um i'm i'm a big fan of uh r dukenstein uh who who's um i think he's been making strips for a couple months now and he's he's pretty regular at it and he's he's always really great really funny um we had um unfortunately this is one of the one of the problems with the with the site where it it is very easy to to make strips rapidly so you know if you know what you're going to say you can just you know really turn them out um but uh so there was a a guy who came to the site uh, i think it was the beginning of this week and his name was robot meter and by the way you can get to any 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 user account on the site by going to tunelet.com slash creator slash username so for instance tunelet.com slash creator slash robot meter um and uh he came to the site, made uh, you know about 12 strips each day, so he's got about 25 strips on the site now, I think. Um, all of them are great, but you know, I wrote Seth, and I'm like, oh, he's he's doing too many. He's doing too many all at once, and uh, and sure enough, you know, it's like we got two days out of him, and I, I'm assuming he'll be back at some point. But I think he he ran out of things to say. Yeah. It's like he probably had a list ready, or you know, was all coiled up with creative energy and kind of. That's what I would do. It is just what have you would a do. like a crazy moment and dr norma would spend like 48 hours awake like slamming coffee and making like tune <laughs> like after tune lit after tune when i'd be on like vacation for holiday vacation for two weeks for example yeah hey yeah. isn't <laughs> that uh right now yeah exactly <laughs> can't doesn't he already look better rested how about more? how about the art <laughs> how about the art packs the artists um we're um so one some of new the art things... packs coming out yeah we we um we just had a second pack from josh kemble go live on the site mm. Um, and his stuff is always really great. We had um, uh, Shannon Wheeler uh, before that. It was uh, too much was coffee, a, man. Yeah. Um, so that was that was pretty exciting. Um, we have uh, uh, Surly Ben is working on another pack, and uh, I'm actually about to start working on sort of a, uh, an Uber pack. I don't know when this is going to go live on the site, but um, basically we're Uber looking pack. at expanding the, um, the 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 character set, you know, towards towards you know that next version of the tool. So. Um, looking into um, eventually Seth wants to add what's called inverse kinematics which is sort of um, you know your 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 this bone Joints. is connected to that yeah. bone and it bends um, so you could very easily pose pose the characters um, and they would you know you wouldn't have to manually move everything around uh, and um, and so I'm going to be working towards that and maybe working on, on some legs and see how well that goes. So we may get oh my some, God, legs on two legs. Yeah, <laughs> we may get some vastly <laughs> updated uh, uh, specs in the next few months. Well, we appreciate you coming on and talking about Toonlit again. Yeah. It was wonderful to have That's you. That's right. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. I'm glad I got to finally come down. I know. Do you're in, in the studio. Finally yeah. here. On That's the couch, right. you can sign the big board of Strange Love Live guests. Ooh, cool. Yes. Um, it was lovely to have you on the show. If you haven't already been, go to tunelit.com and please join us next week when our guest will be Rick Tarosi and we have some special things coming up with him. We're going to kind of recap the year in tech in Portland. Right. That'll be a good one. And After Hours comes up next. After Hours is next. That's right. See you then. Bye.